What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to fix the HTTP 500 internal server error on your Windows PC. The HTTP 500 internal server error is a server-side issue, meaning it's caused by the website server rather than your Windows PC. To fix it, first open up your browser on your PC and for Chrome users, click the three vertical dots in the top right corner of the window. From the drop-down menu, select Settings. Once you are in the Settings page, look at the left-hand menu and click on About Chrome. This will automatically check for updates. If your Chrome browser is out of date, it will begin updating right away. After the update is complete, restart your browser. Next, go to Privacy and Security on the left menu and then click on Clear Browsing Data. Make sure you are on the Advanced tab. Set the time range to All Time and now, Check all the boxes except for passwords and autofill form data, unless you want to clear those too. Once selected, click Clear Data to remove cached files, cookies and other potentially corrupted data. For the third step, head over to the Reset Settings section on the left. Click on Restore Settings to their original defaults and then hit Reset Settings. This will revert Chrome back to its factory settings without removing your bookmarks or saved passwords. Finally, We'll adjust your DNS settings to potentially resolve network-related issues. Search for ncpa.cpl in your Start menu and hit Enter. This opens the Network Connections window. Depending on your setup, right-click on either your Wi-Fi or Ethernet connection and select Properties. In the list that appears, scroll down and double-click on Internet Protocol version 4. Now, select Use the following DNS server addresses. In the preferred DNS field, type 8888 and in the alternate DNS field, type 8844. These are Google's public DNS servers, which are reliable and often improve connectivity. Click OK to save the changes. After completing all of these steps, restart your computer. This should resolve the HTTP 500 internal server error on your Windows PC. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.